Hi, Adon. Hey, Nate. Thank you so much for um, helping my project. My it's, pleasure. It's great to meet you at uh, the, the baby shower we're at. Yes, so. yes, yes. yes, yes. We're relaxing and the host is nervous. And nervous, yeah. But we're the guests, so we're relaxing. We're trying to stay out of the way. Yeah, I don't our, know. our goal is to be invisible. Exactly. And then suddenly appear at the right time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. But uh, Adon, I was wondering if maybe to start out, uh, could you say a couple of words about yourself? Uh, so, Adan Gallardo, I'm a friend of the family through my son. Uh, he does kind of tutoring to Peru once in a while, and sometimes I, I just uh, I make sure we, I know where he's at. So oh, that's, that's why I came over here one day. Okay, I know where you're at now to do this, and uh, gave him a ride over here. So nice people, and uh, we enjoy the company. It's uh, amazing as parents, um, we spend all of our time worrying about our children. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, but uh, I think uh, the, the parents to be are going to find that out soon. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to find out and learn uh, a lot of things too, you know. We learn patience with our kids. Yes. And, uh, and then when they grow up, we kind of miss when they were little. We, and we wish they were little again, but then... The time goes fast. It does. My wife used to tell me don't work too much when they were tiny little kids, and now I can understand why, but it's too late. It's too late. I know. Now you have to wait for the grandchildren. Yes. You're like, I can do something different then. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, did you know that NASA's planning to send astronauts back to the moon? I have heard of it, and I keep up with some of the stuff because I love space. Uh, my thing is. Uh, Science fiction, but about space. Okay. Okay. So every time a rocket goes up or, or a SpaceX sends it up, I'm on it, I'm watching it, you know. So I heard the plan and I wish to see it. I want to see it. Have you uh, seen what they're doing down there next to Roundsville and Boca Chica? I would like the Starship and the, the oh, huge so rocket. Well, yeah. Absolutely. And now, it's supposed to be ready to fly again, mm -hmm. but waiting on FAA approvals and it's... I know, yeah, it's like, <laughs> yeah. Uh, we're ready to fly now, but FAA says they won't be ready to give us a license till yeah. November. Yeah, uh, it's kind of a bummer, but I, I, I would like hope in, in a couple of weeks, you know. I know. Uh, have you seen the launch down there? I haven't been in it. I just saw it, saw it on YouTube. Uh, I YouTube. keep up with it. Uh, I keep up with these guys that are fanatics about it, like everyday astronaut, you know. Oh yeah, I like it too, Tim Dodd. Tim Dodd, yes. Yeah. And uh, and Felix with his, uh, ooh, what about it? What about it? What about it? <laughs> I, then, uh, I, I was more Felix than, than Tim Dodd, Tim Dodd, to be honest. Cause okay, well Tim, I mean Felix is like the weekly yes, thing, the and then weekly. Tim Dodd is yeah. like, uh, usually like a two hour thing every yeah. six months or something. And you know, the sad thing he was, he had won a ticket to fly yes, to the, around the, the moon, right? Yeah, yeah, the, um, what was it called? Dear Moon. Dear Moon. With the, the Japanese uh, guy. Yeah, and they canceled. Mm. <laughs> Some people, he says uh, the, the Japanese sponsor was saying it's because of the delays, but it also corresponded to the fall of the yen, so maybe that had something to do with it too. <laughs> But I tell you what, every time that rocket goes up, there's a huge improvement. And I think they will go to the moon. It's probably going to be on one of those rockets. Right. Okay. I think it's going to happen. And of course, the dream of living on Mars, that's probably going to be like way out there, you know? Like how way out? I want to say, man, before I retire to whatever <laughs> in I your want, lifetime in my lifetime okay. i want to see it okay. around 2045 i okay. hope they, yeah i hope they, they wow. make it and if you could would you take a trip to space i would okay i would and i was telling my wife if i was one of the guys like i got offered a free ticket i would take it okay and she's like well, you know you could die out there. Mm. But look, how many men have been able to die on Mars and stay over there? Uh, zero so far. I'd like to be the first one. Yeah. <laughs> but not on impact. Not if on I, impact, no. I maybe take a few, uh, speed, you know, Mars walks. Yeah, and, yeah. 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 <laughs> and whatever happens. <laughs>
They may name my app post after after me. Yeah. Actually, the the, Adon, uh, the city of Adon. Yes. <laughs> so it'd be worth it. Yeah, the, the challenge. I like it. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. And so you say you like science fiction. Uh, is it more movies or books? Um, it's more movies, to be honest. Uh, but. Usually I do read a book and I like to compare the movie. Oh, okay, the same, I like the movie and the book, yeah, but the same story. Yeah. Okay. That's, that's kind of my thing. Yes. And you know, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of people out there that, that enjoy that kind of stuff. And most people think it's, like, most, some people think we should spend our money here on Earth, but I think, a lot of advances in science have come from space exploration, you know, and it makes life interesting, exploring. It does, and even the money that is spent doing space activities, that money is still spent on Earth. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. It's not like we put the money on the rocket and send it out into space. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yes sir. Oh, and so, what's your favorite uh, sci-fi movie? Uh, I saw, the last one I saw was, uh, you know, Prometheus, the uh -huh. movie about the, yeah. the I think it, it explains a little bit about the beginning of the alien, right? Right, and like yeah. the aliens like coming here to destroy the earth. Yeah, like the, yeah. Uh, I like that one. I also love District 9. I haven't seen that one. Yeah, it was... That one was about aliens coming to Earth, and they actually would receive it, but they would put in concentration camps and stuff. And uh, the aliens were put in the concentration camps. Yes. Okay. Yeah, and it happened in South Africa. Oh, so I see. Like the actors are from South Africa, and it had a good twist on it, where they're trying to escape her, you know, from the concentration camp. <laughs> they're like. Get us out of here. We don't want to deal with these people. Yeah, so they were not ready for them. <laughs> Let's go back home. Yeah. Uh, uh, I like Star Trek. Uh, that's kind of my thing. Mm -hmm. uh, like uh, any particular series, like the oldest ones uh, or Next Generation? or I love the, the old one, the classic one with William Shatner. Mm -hmm. And uh, Next Generation, it was good. The series, but uh, uh, lately the movies I haven't kept up with them. You know, it's just they have some shows now, but mm -hmm. they're not the same. You know? Right. Uh, sometimes I like to relax and go to the classic Star Trek. I, I watch those sometimes over and over. Again. That's really cool. Yeah. Well, Adana, it's a pleasure to get to talk to you. Thank you so much for sharing your yes. views for my project. Sure. Thank you for interviewing me. <laughs>